What does the glorious 12th mean to you? It's a build up. I don't think you can really top it when the sun's shining and the grouse are cackling and you line out for the first drive. It's, I think that's what does it for me. Yeah, yeah seeing the beaters, the dogs, yeah, no, it's just one of the best <coughs> feelings. Ah, it's just, uh, it's life, really, isn't it? It's what it's all about, Ken. Getting your team together, getting your beaters sorted, it's just an adrenaline rush. Uh, tradition has got a lot to do with it, too. You put a full year's work, whether it be a good season or a bad season, the same amount went into producing the start of the season. Queen's on for the first time and all smart Spaniels out and yeah, just seeing everybody and like you say, a whole four years work so I'm sure you show your work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice to see old faces again, maybe you haven't seen for a year. See how everybody's dog's behaving, better than your own or worse than your own. But, <laughs> but uh, no, overall, it's good to, to see new faces, old faces, and hopefully a good season in front of us. How did you get into the industry? Partner, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And did you have a difficulty in getting into it, uh, Les? Uh, not really. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Um, I think that side of it was probably made a lot easier because, because of my father and my grandfather. I knew lots of people and uh, that side of it for me was quite easy mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. into it. Not sure it's probably as easy today as it was. Yeah, no, right. Took a gamble and went down to the River Dee, which was a Geely there. And then the finging job came up and applied for it which was probably more people with more experience than me, but I obviously interviewed well, got the job, and then took it from there. Good for you. So just a bit of luck, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Being in the right place at the right time. Mother still got all my stuff at school. What you want to do, gamekeeper, gamekeeper, gamekeeper. Um, but the, the road for me, uh, the, the easy road for me was working firm going work in the next door neighbour firm and, and that's what I've done. When I was 19 year old, somebody came along mm -hmm. and um, firm worked and they gave me a lot of money. Before I knew it, I was feeding pheasants and doing bits and pieces and that. I've done that for two years and that kind of gave me my, my foot step into the, the industry and before I knew it, I was rearing pheasants, rearing partridges and never looked back, I suppose, like it. Eh? Say you'd done your homework, but you just hide out in the field somewhere. <laughs> um, try and, uh, yeah, just rake a boot. You spent all your evenings raking a boot. Um, so it was good fun. I think I was always told uh, that I should always go back, get a trade for something to fall back on, but for once in my life, mum and dad were wrong, I think, and uh, <laughs> I uh, ignored that, and I don't think uh, as growing up, you know, you've got everything surrounded you, dogs out in the countryside. Um, I don't think you can beat away growing up from that. As long as there was a, a Land Rover, a quad bike and a gun, then I was interested in it. Um, brother and I were fifth generation at that point, the lads are the sixth. Um, so it just fell in, born Brock and Glenn Shee, so it really, whatever father done, I didn't, to, to go with him, um, just went to his work every day and what have you, any holidays were spent burning Heather and what have you. Dad was right, you'll never, you'll never make the money that the oil man did, but I would say I've had a far better life for it. Oh. Yeah, put it out, put it out. I was desperate to be a keeper. Mum and Dad put the pressure on not to be. Didn't think there was a good, reliable future in it. Oh, your mum did. <laughs> um, they didn't think it was, you know, going to be, be carrying on the way things went, but ignored them, uh, got a job. And um, yeah, I haven't looked back nine, ten years later. So. Good, yeah, good. long may continue. Mm -hmm. good. Been doing it since I was 17, now 64. So, enjoyed it all and still enjoy my job. Good job to have. There's been many, many highlights yeah. over the years. Yeah. There will be a fire here that there'll be property 
and loss nice. of life. They all said their generation would be the last to see it. Our generation will be, and it's come down, yet here we are, 20, 30, 40 years later, we're still, still going, aren't we?